Welcome to Decorate You. I'm Olga and today I'll be showing you how to make your own perfume. The recipe for perfume is just a few simple ingredients. You'll need vodka that is at least 90 proof. I found one. It's a Smirnoff one and it's 100 proof. And a collection of essential oils, any kind you'd like. You'll also probably need a funnel, measuring cups for sure, and little perfume sprays. These are called atomizers and you could buy them online. They're only a couple of bucks. I've already measured how much liquid is able to fit into these little atomizer bottles and they're about two teaspoons each. So I'm gonna begin by using four teaspoons of vodka and adding it to my measuring cup. You could use a bowl for this. The reason why we're using alcohol instead of water is because it evaporates quickly and is a nice deodorizer. Do not use rubbing alcohol for this. It will not work the same way and your perfume just won't smell good. Also, stray away from tequila or rum or any other kind of alcohol. For this perfume, I'm going to use a variety of essential oils. I will be listing all of the ingredients on the blog. So check it out, the link is in the description. I will be using Moonlit Lotus that I got from Sapphire Blue. I will put the link to their website in the description as well. I'm gonna use sandalwood and amber and French pear. These are their little sample sizes that you can get. I also have grapefruit. I love the smell of grapefruit. Just, I'm probably gonna use just two drops of this ginger and maybe one or two drops of frankincense. This is really good if you want to make cologne or like a very earthy smelling perfume. I won't be using a lot. I want my perfume to be like bright and light. I will be adding about 40 to 60 drops of essential oils to this perfume. So that's 20 drops of Moonlit Lotus. If you're going to be making perfume, definitely get sandalwood and amber. I actually got them both together in this little sample size. Uh, most perfumes use this base. That smells so amazing. It smells like, like vanilla marshmallows. I also really like the scent of pear, so I will be definitely adding this. So that's 14 drops of the French pear. I'm going to be doing two drops of the grapefruit, one drop of the ginger, I've decided. Ooh. Two drops of the ginger, I guess. And then one drop of the frankincense. I'm gonna mix this up a little bit by stirring it around. It smells really good right now. It almost smells like a really expensive cocktail. <laughs> but if you give it time, give it about three weeks to mature and then you could use it and then it won't be smelling like a cocktail anymore. Just a really awesome perfume. I decided to add a little bit more of the Moonlit Lotus. About 10 more drops. I've added about 10 more drops of the sandalwood and amber to my mixture. I think it smells about perfect now. I'll go ahead and put my perfume in its new home. I don't wanna spill anything, so I'm gonna be using a funnel. I'm just gonna pour it in. And to the other one as well. Okay. Just close this up. I'm gonna let this mature for a while, about three weeks, and then I'm ready to use it. Why should you make your own perfume? There are plenty of benefits to making your own. First of all, it doesn't have any weird, unpronounceable ingredients in it. The perfume that you buy at the store, you don't exactly know what they put in it. They could be putting in anything because they don't have to list it on the bottle. All I have in here is just vodka and some essential oils. Thank you for watching this tutorial on Decorate You. Please subscribe for more videos. And if you wanna watch one right now, click on the videos on the screen. Thanks for watching, we'll see you next time.